my friends, the future of crypto gaming is on Internet Computer Protocol. Why? Because the Internet Computer Protocol is the only place you can build a game completely on chain. Did you realize most of crypto gaming is a complete lie right now? Because there's just tokens and NFTs that are not even hosted on the chain. Most all of crypto gaming right now is actually harder than just building a regular game. Internet Computer, for the first time, does crypto gaming right. And I'm going to talk all about here the future of crypto gaming with Internet Computer live while responding to comments live and reading the chat. And check this out. This is a game called Cubetopia. It is on Internet Computer. You can join in and play this in the public server anytime. It's kind of like Minecraft. This is a game hosted on Internet Computer that is multiplayer and that's fully on chain. Now, you might not understand well, why is fully on chain gaming a big deal? Fully on chain gaming is a big deal because it's much more difficult to build a crypto game when all you've got is a little token that's on the blockchain and then all the computation, all the game pictures and resources, all the servers are all off chain. That has two very important implications. One, the players who are holding the token, all the investors and people excited about the game that are holding the token, all these crypto gaming tokens that all these people are hyping up, the token has no real control or connection to the actual assets which are hosted off-chain and controlled by a centralized entity, which is usually the development team. Then uh, that's why internet computers the future of gaming because when you can build your game completely on chain, then you can have the NFTs on chain. The entire game world can be sold as an NFT. Which, if you have something like Cubetopia, where players are building their own world, this is a huge deal because you can make these. Minecraft has become very popular, and with something like Cubetopia built on chain, you can build your own world. And then you could sell the game world directly on chain as an NFT. And that is, that's the future of crypto gaming. That's real ownership. If the game itself is not on chain, you have no real ownership. And I know because I've played hundred, uh, I've played hundreds of hours of crypto games in the last year. And these, the existing crypto games outside of ICP are harder they are much harder to play than just signing up for something like Magic the Gathering Arena and jumping in and playing it and using your credit card to buy some cards. Uh, these crypto games require using often a wallet and then connecting the wallet several times and creating an account for the game. And they say that they're a Web3 game, but the truth is holding the token gives you no ownership and therefore the tokens end up being worthless if they're hosted on layer twos, the tokens are vulnerable to hacks and exploits by the developers. Internet computer is the only place, the only place where you can build a game like this completely on chain. And because it's on chain, the token can have value because there's real ownership for the token. And because the token can have value, the investments may actually do well sometimes and the games may thrive. And more importantly, there's things you can do with a game like this because it's fully on chain that you can't do otherwise. You can monetize in new ways. You can build new kinds of games. Because in a game like Cubetopia where it's fully on chain, I could make my own world and all the stuff you have in your world, the NFTs that somebody else makes in their world, they could then be used in another world because it's all on chain. There's new ways to monetize. There's new ways to create games. You can make games on ICP that you cannot build anywhere else. And that's where there's real innovation. So I'll make sure to consistently pay attention to the chat and respond to what you all have to say. If you want to talk about price, Joe Paris and I are going to do a live stream, our first live stream together ever, I think. We're going to do our first live stream together two days from now. I will put that out there. You can always see my live streams coming ahead of time on my Jerry Banfield crypto channel. I will schedule them 
in advance so you know when to show up. I'll do that after this one is done. But in this, what's in, what's much more important to talk about in the than the price is the real use case. The things you can actually do. And ICP is the only platform, the only thing you can possibly use right now in all of crypto to build this. This is a game that's on chain. It's a game that's on chain. You just can't build this anywhere else. And when you combine that, I'll show you some of the most promising gaming aspect on uh, internet computer because you've got all kinds of different games building on internet computer. And uh, you, because these games are building on internet computer, what's so much easier about internet computers, you can use one single account. You can use one account to sign into the game, the NFT marketplace, to swap and do all your transactions. One, the more people get on ICP, and a lot of people are saying that crypto gaming is going to bring the masses in, ICP or Internet Computer Protocol is the best place to build a crypto game. And up until recently, it has been more difficult. But let's take a look at this project called Boom Dow. Boom Dow, uh, they were trying to build a game on ICP, and they saw that because it's a different way to build, that it was difficult to start from scratch. So what they've done, they've made a game launcher where it's a one-stop game platform. Instead of, if you've already got a game, you can take your existing Web2 game and use your game launcher and just shoot it up onto the internet computer blockchain, which if you're a game developer, this is a fantastic way, especially if your game hasn't been getting played or if it has been getting played and you got a small community that you've been thinking about creating NFT collections, doing airdrops and all that. Boom Dow has built infrastructure on internet computer where you can just upload your game straight to internet computer and then start building in NFTs, tokens, and use all the functionality that you would want in a crypto game and do it directly with your existing game. Now, most people that are in the gaming sector don't know about this yet, but the more people upload games and find out about this, and the more people see what you can do on here, it looks like I got dropped out of the world, you can, if you want to hop in and play with me, you can join a public join the public island on Cubetopia and we'll be in the same game world directly on chain, which is amazing. That's, there's a game if you're like, okay, are there any actual games on this that are like a big deal that are building on here? Yes. Let me take a look and show you. Here's a game called Dragons. Dragons is 100% on-chain 3D MMO. Now, this is very much in development. But if you look at the team behind this, the team behind this game built Neopets. The team behind this built Neopets, which if you look at the Wikipedia, the uh, Neopets was built in uh, 1997. No, I, I don't, I don't, I do not. I don't want that Wikipedia. Thank you. Wicca, in 1997, Adam Powell built Neopets, and uh, in Neopets ended up being sold to Viacom for $160 million. The creators of Neopets are now working on and building dragons. And the key question to ask here is why? Like why why are they building why are they building on internet computer? Well, they built a game after Neopets and what happened to the game they built after Neopets? They built a game that had players that was profitable that they were enjoying and then the hosting infrastructure and the investors decided they didn't want to run the game anymore. And they pressured Adam and his wife to shut the game down, even though it was profitable, even though they had a community of players. And for that reason, they've been looking for a long time for a place they could build their next game where they wouldn't have their game get shut down by investors or the hosting platform. And this is the, the big problem we have in gaming today is that the with... 
there's so much centralization that you can have a profitable game with the community and they can just decide we don't want your game for any reason. It, it they can do it for any reason. And that's why that's why internet computer is such a big deal because when you have creators like from the Neopets creators they obviously are deep into how to build a game. They've been looking for something just like internet computer and now they're all in on building their game on internet computer. The only thing that you're if you're wondering well why isn't everyone doing this? People just don't know that is this exists yet. And a lot of game developers don't understand why they should build a game off of the existing infrastructure. But the more excitement there is about crypto, the more game developers are going to want to make crypto games. And uh, yes, in the short term, lots of game developers are just looking to make as much money as possible as fast as possible. But when you've got creators like the Dragons team, they're looking to make something that can live on indefinitely, even without them. Internet computer is the only place you could build something where the community can actually fully run the game themselves. And where theoretically you could even sell the game to someone else, sell someone else a copy of the game, and someone else could take a copy of the game on internet computer and make whatever changes they wanted to. And that's what's so cool with internet computer. I saw someone asked, said, well, Jerry, I thought you weren't going to talk about the price. So on the video I'm going to do with Joe Perry's, I will, Joe Paris, I will exclude that from the Definity Grant video. So this video is a video that is part of my Definity Community Grant where I uh, have accepted you can learn about the Definity Community Grants if we search here, Community Grants Program. The Community Grants Program by Definity, which is a lead contributor to Internet Computer, provides support to those who are leading the charge in expanding the ICP community. You all said that I should apply for a grant, and uh, the Boom Dow team helped me go through the grant application process, and Definity gave me $5,000 with $2,500 up front and $2,500 once I finish my videos. And for to make a month worth of videos talking about ICP, which I was going to do anyway, I did like 100 videos before the community grant just because ICP is the best thing I see in crypto by far right now. So many of you have been asking like what to do right now. I'm like this... There's, there's nothing to do. Like, there's, this is the tip of the iceberg. When you have internet computer protocol being able to host Web3 games completely on chain, where you can build your website, you can launch your game, you can put your NFTs, you can sell game worlds, you can launch a token, you can have your token automatically governed by a DAO. What's really cool is... You can even take over another token. If you've got enough money, what the Dragons team did, there was, at the time, a meme coin called SNS1, which was out there to test out the service nervous system or the automatic DAO functionality in Internet Computer. The Dragons team bought more than half the supply for that token. They took over the token to use for their game. That's what's so cool about internet computer because it's all on chain. Someone else, there's tokens that are listed on the service nervous system. If you've got enough money and there's enough tokens on the market, you could literally just buy some other token if you wanted to and take that over yourself. I Internet computer protocol is the most promising. It's the best infrastructure I see anywhere. Here is another reason that crypto gaming with ICP will be so good. And yes, I do have videos. I have tons of videos about internet computer. I have like every kind of video you could want about internet computer. So if you go to my previous live streams, I'll show you some other videos. So here's a video talking about one of the biggest features on internet computer protocol, vet keys. If you want to start learning about internet computer, 
watch this video called ICP is changing the internet a deep dive. I talked two and a half hours about Internet Computer Live, and it's meant to be kind of for beginners. If you want to look more at other applications on here, check this exploring ICP video out. If you're a total beginner to ICP and you just don't get it, start with this one called Internet Computer Protocol Explained for Beginners. This starts out and talks... Th this assumes you know almost nothing and don't understand anything I'm really saying about ICP. Watch that video because that explains the bigger picture. So one of the biggest exciting things for internet computer gaming is the ability to integrate chain key Bitcoin and chain key Ethereum. So what I imagine we're going to see is some of the chain key Bitcoin and chain key Ethereum. I imagine we're going to see some of the games from Ethereum are going to move onto internet computer. And anybody who's wanted to build a game with Bitcoin will want to move on to internet computer also. What we're seeing on Internet Computer, thank you to Fluent very much for becoming a member. Thank you. We got over 105 likes on here as well. If you, uh, right now in crypto gaming, it's very difficult to build a crypto game because what you have to do is build essentially a Web 2 game. Then you have to try and connect blockchain technology in with the game, which means you need to do all this extra work right now off of anything besides internet computer it is much more expensive to develop a crypto game and if you can get anything from this internet computer is the easiest and cheapest way right now to launch a crypto game with nfts and tokens i mean that's bottom line the only reason every game is not launching on internet computers they literally don't know about it but i'm here to help them find out because the easiest and fastest way to get your entire game on it, on blockchain, get your NFTs, token collections, airdrops, community, website, all of it can be done on internet computer. And because of that, because of that, it's so much easier. Right now, if you want to build a crypto game, you need infrastructure like Amazon or Google backend to host your game in the database and the servers and then you need a website that is usually separate from that infrastructure and then for blockchain you need to spin up a token on one blockchain or another and then you need to use an nft marketplace on one blockchain or another crypto recovery thank you very much for the six pound i mean six euro super chat it's so hard right now to build a real crypto game. And that's why many of the crypto games we see in, in my opinion, are nothing more than scams. They're taking gameplay from any way they can get it from AI generated videos to stock game footage to stealing footage from other games. Many of these game coins are not even building a game because it's hard and it takes tons of money. On internet computer, when you can just use BoomDAO to launch your game, make your NFT collection, and what is even better is you can interact with other games. And that's what we really need in crypto gaming because a lot of these crypto games are pretty simple. It's like, why would you spend your time playing these crypto games? JFrog, thank you for the $5 super chat. Another one from you. The... Exactly. What you need to focus on is the long-term implications of the technology. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It is easier and cheaper and faster to get your game up, your crypto game. If you want to have a game that uses crypto and blockchain and NFTs, Internet Computer Protocol is the fastest and easiest way to do that because it's the only... Are you hearing that? It's the only option. If you want your website and uh, your nfts and your game all to just be in the same place and all work together and all be on the same infrastructure and uh, that means there's no competition these other crypto games there there's going to be so many more crypto games that launch on internet computer one reason is it takes a while though to plan this stuff out it often takes a while if you've got a game and you want to launch it and you've got an idea to get the funding to plan out where you're going to do it. 
internet computer is set up to uh, be the ideal ecosystem for crypto gaming. And uh, boom, DAO, now two years ago, there was not easy infrastructure to build everything on internet computer. While it was technically possible, people are often in the habit of doing things a certain way. So people are in the habit of building their games on the same kind of centralized infrastructure. They're in the habit of spinning up things like WordPress websites. They're in the habit of launching tokens on things like Ethereum. And then they're in the habit of using marketplaces like OpenSea. But the only reason they have those habits is because the first people who tried to do that stuff didn't have better options. Now people do have better options. And as soon as people are aware of BoomDAO, as soon as people are aware of chain key Bitcoin, that now you can actually use using chain key Bitcoin, you can integrate Bitcoin into your game. You can have a play to earn Bitcoin game. That 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 wasn't possible before. It wasn't possible. Thank you. We just cracked over 300 people watching, which is a record. I don't know if I've ever had over 300 at once on YouTube. So I really appreciate y'all being here. And the point of you all being here is to give you some valuable information. The valuable information here is that the best infrastructure to build any crypto game on right now is internet computer. And the only, the only thing, it's just a matter of time before more and more and more game developers find out about it. So here's an example of what you can do on internet computer. You can have a little arcade. So apps, Discover, if you look at Discover, this is a social media app built on internet computer. This app has hundreds of thousands of users. And they very cleverly, they have, they built this on internet computer and then they expanded to a Solana wallet and NFT marketplace integration to bring a bunch of people from Solana into the ecosystem. And while some of the people in internet computer were critical of this, it's still hosted on internet computer and uh, Discover brought a bunch of people from Solana into internet computer. Thank you, Mr. New Creation for the 10 Swiss francs super chat. Because Discover brought all these people into internet computer via Solana, they, uh, they did a huge help to the internet computer ecosystem, which I said that at the time, Others were very critical, but let's look at here's here's what you can do on internet computer. You can build a social media application and then you can just put a little games tab and then they've uploaded these games onto internet computer. You've got these little games on internet computer, so you don't even have to be a gaming platform per se. And I played this Pac-Man game directly on stream. And you can even make your own little games. I'll show you one of the first things when I was researching internet computer that really stood out to me. And the game has sound, but I've muted the sound because the sound is obnoxious. Uh-oh. Ah, I suck! <laughs> so this, what you can do with internet computers, you can just build gaming functionality into your existing game. Oh, come on. Come on, y'all. I'm hungry. Give me these little ghosties. You can build a little game functionality into your existing application. So if you're making a social media application, you can build game functionality into the application. You don't even have to be developing a crypto game. You can just throw some game functionality. Ah! Ooh. You can just throw some game functionality like this into your existing application as a value add. Whereas if you're building something like a social media app on another crypto, it wouldn't be feasible. And you can even do things like this, like make little NFTs for the game. You can offer users airdrops and points for the game. You can make little games like this on, because the internet computer infrastructure is so flexible, because you can do so many things with it. This is only possible on internet computer. Like this is an on-chain game. And because it's an on-chain game, as long as the canisters, the reverse gas fees, as long as the app is sustainable, like how cool is this? Like you're, you are seeing a game 
that is on chain right now. And this is not even on like a gaming platform. This is just on an application that's on internet computer. This is what internet computer can do that other stuff can't do. This is why I'm so hyped up on internet computer because when you can just throw in an arcade to your existing social media app, this is huge. This makes your app more interesting. Like I spend more time on this arcade recently than I have using the actual Discover app. And like in theory, I could even like pay a developer to make a little game like this on my website. Like I could just throw a little game like this on my website. Because you can host websites on internet computer. Like how cool is that? Like we just played a little crypto game right now. Thank you very much. Who were the other super chats on there? Brad or Bad Brazilian. Thank you for the $5 super chat. And Crypto Kasuke. Your honesty is refreshing. That's that's my intention. Is earlier this year I was looking for the best crypto investment for myself. I found internet computer and I found it because of things like this in my research. If you have a crypto game, Internet computer is an application called Open Chat, where the community on Open Chat, we need three more people to join and it'll be 666. Who's excited about that? So you can make a community on Open Chat, and then everyone who uses Open Chat can now swap for your token. Imagine once your token gets listed on Open Chat and it gets on some of these decentralized exchanges. You can now swap. For example, where's the the token? Is this it? You can swap directly in Open Chat. So imagine if Telegram had built in like Uniswap style functionality, you can directly swap. You can get a quote in it. I wouldn't get very many of the tokens. But look what I can do. When you build a community on Open Chat, you can build the community for your game. People can use the same wallet. Are you understanding how easy is this is? I can use the same wallet to sign into Open Chat, like which is the equivalent of Telegram or Discord on chain. I can use that same internet identity to have an account on Discover, that same identity to swap on a decentralized exchange, the same identity, the same login to sign into and play the game itself. And then there's a whole bunch of other games you can sign in and play on that as well. It's a Joe, 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 ho, Joe, ho. Thank you for the five dollars. Your third super chat. Really appreciate it. This is what you can do on Internet computer. You can't do anywhere else. The only reason Internet computer is where it's at today, because most people have never researched it. But once once you research it. I've researched a lot of altcoins. Once you research it, the technology speaks for itself. VetKeys is what VetKeys is. VetKeys is a way to use internet computer protocol. VetKeys allows you to have privacy on internet computer with your transactions. Now, uh, in theory, you could even build tokens like that. Pig Monkey, thank you very much for the $10. Big Monkey point, sent that. I feel the switch over from restaking voting rewards to taking some profits should be. All my profit is fun money, not needed to pay bills. Watching from the UK. Thank you for using the. You, Pig Monkey used the $10 super chat link on, on jerrybanfield.com through Streamlabs. You can also send crypto if you use the crypto link, and that pops you up a notification for three minutes. And that comes straight into my wallet without YouTube taking 40 to 70% of the super chat. So thank you. To answer your question, my strategy is to be in it for the long term. The number one thing I've learned in crypto since 2014 when I first bought Bitcoin and I lost thousands buying Bitcoin high and selling it low and then buying high and selling low repeatedly, I learned that you, you need to find the best technology. The best technology, and not just technology that's a little bit better, but what you really need is technology that's exponentially better. 
that has something really valuable that no one else has. Bitcoin, first cryptocurrency, launched during the right after the 2008 financial crisis when the, you could see clearly we needed some form of peer-to-peer -peer decentralized money. Almost every other crypto until Ethereum was basically a Bitcoin copy or a Bitcoin fork or the basic technology of Bitcoin slightly modified. Then comes Ethereum with smart contracts, a massive innovation technologically to allow you to do all kinds of things you couldn't do before. The original vision was for Ethereum to become a world computer, but the level of computational power is not enough for a world computer. Since Ethereum, internet computer is the first big innovation we have where it's exponentially better than anything else and by exponentially i mean something like this so if you go to internetcomputer.org if you go to internetcomputer.org you can for five dollars a year five dollars a year you can put five dollars per gigabyte per year you can put up to 64 gigabytes of persistent memory directly on chain on internet computer it would cost you more than 10,000 times that much to do that on many of the other blockchains. That's because when uh, Dominique Williams, the founder of Definity, so I'm getting to the, the question that was asked. The founder of Definity, Dominic Williams, was a part of the early Ethereum community, and I did a dedicated live stream to going into how Internet Computer and Definity was started. But to give you the short version, Dominic Williams was a part of the early Ethereum community when the vision was World Computer, and he broke away from the early Ethereum community because when he could see Ethereum was not going to become a true world computer, the computational power was not going to be there, Dominic set out to build a real world computer and internet computer is the first scalable real world computer where all you need to do in theory is keep adding more nodes and you could build the entire internet on there. Dominic also made a multi, before he was into crypto, he made a massively multiplayer online game that had millions of people and uh, therefore Dominic gaming Gaming is an integral part of the founder of Definity, which is how we got internet computer. Gaming is an integral part of Dominic seeing the what you need to be able to do with the world computer. A world computer should be able to run games completely on chain. Nuri, thank you for your $5 super chat. First super chat ever on a live stream. Let me see if there were any other questions. Yes, so Dominic Williams said earlier this year that gaming was going to be big on ICP. And the key thing you need to understand is why. And the why is because it's the only place you can do all this stuff. You can make your entire community on open chat. You can launch your existing game with BoomDAO. You can add games as little value adds to your existing social media app where you don't even have to be a gaming app, but you have a little... There are some crypto projects out there that are valued at tens of millions of dollars. And all they have is the equivalent of the Discover Arcade here. Discover has not even launched a token because Discover's on internet computer. They just threw some games. They just threw some games on the application so you could use it. Enjoy free games or play to win. Now keep in mind, they could add a token and integrate that functionality into all these games if they wanted to. Because they're on chain, they very easily could add that. So for your, for your planning, what I've learned, being in crypto, I found Bitcoin in 2014. I found Ethereum in 2016. I might have seen it in 2015, but I started loading it under $10 in 2016. I had a bunch of Ethereum. And where I got wrecked was taking profits. And that's why I've locked my internet computer. I will show you my stash because if, if you don't see my position, how can you know if... 
I encourage you to only watch people who will be transparent with their wallet, at least the vast majority. And some people, you know, some people will not show you what they actually have. I'll show you because that's honest. So the best, here's what I'm doing. I have 2,900 ICP. I sold everything three months ago. I, some of y'all thought I was crazy at the time, but you know, it looks, it, it looks a lot smarter now, doesn't it? But just wait to how it's going to look in the future. I sold everything I had, all my other altcoins, all my Bitcoin, all my Ethereum. I put it all in internet computer and I locked it for eight years and it's not unlocking and I have no plans to unlock it ever because I, my age bonus continues to go up. I, I get right now, I'll show you exactly how much I get in the internet computer dashboard. To me, there is, this is the absolute best strategy for internet computer and only internet computer because of the technology, not because of anything else, because of the actual technology. Look at, look at what's happening. I'm getting 1.33 maturity a day every day on average some days i get two or three other days i get zero because this is voting rewards and i follow definity with my neuron i literally don't have to do anything i get this every day this is passive income and then what i do in the network nervous system all i have to do is click on spawn neuron and this turns into these this one's going to crank out five ICP for me in five days. This one's going to crank out five ICP for me in five days. Do you understand? This is the, the, the dream. I would be a millionaire if I had literally just never touched the Bitcoin and the Ethereum I had bought before. Or if I had just left my $50 a day Bitcoin at one point. This is how far ahead of the game I was. In 2016, I had an automatic buy. I was buying $50 a day in Bitcoin and $50 a day in Ethereum. In 2016, automatically, every day. At the time, I was making, I was a top 10 instructor on Udemy. I was making like a half, uh, millions of dollars in sales and like 250,000 a year in profit. And I was paying out a lot too. Like I was hired a bunch of my friends to work for me and help out. I was putting in $50 a day to Bitcoin and Ethereum thoughtlessly. I was just DCAing in without even thinking about it. And you know where I made my mistake? I took all my profits in 2017 and 2018. And you know what I had in 2019? Nothing. And I could not stand to buy back in. Even Bitcoin at 3000 in 2019 looked disgustingly expensive because I bought as low as 170. So what you really need is to do research, find the technology that is unbeatable and then hang on for the long term. Because I'd have millions of dollars in Bitcoin if I had literally done nothing. I mean, look at this, 16% annualized rewards off of 2,900 ICP. I'm getting 1.3 ICP a day indefinitely, indefinitely. To me, there's no smarter strategy than that. Like that is the absolute smartest strategy. If you want to see my price discussion, I've made dedicated videos talking specifically about the price because I've accepted a Definity grant. I will not be talking about price in this video. Two weeks ago, before the grant started, I made a video explaining exactly how many internet computer I think you need to be a millionaire. And I also made one with a, a price prediction before that that was a live stream. So because internet computer has such great technology, I mean, I think we've only seen the beginning. Joe Paris and I, two days from now, will also do a live stream where we're talking about price. I'll take a break. If, what triggered the ICP run? People doing their research and looking at the technology. Like that's that's all that matters. Let me look at, let's show chain key Bitcoin. So one of the biggest things that's happened on internet computer. Now this has been going on all year. I've been telling you about this for months and now it just blew up. So look at this. There's a thing called chain key Bitcoin. 
internet computer as the first Bitcoin and first Ethereum layer two. And this is massive for crypto gaming. Why? Because what's going to happen is a bunch of these games on other chains are going to see the opportunity to make themselves more profitable, reduce their costs and expand their community by moving over to internet computer. So I believe there's going to be lots of new games, tons of new games that launch on internet computer using Boom DAO or just building their game on the infrastructure. There's going to be tons of games like Dragons that move or build on internet computer because these games, you can use chain key Bitcoin, chain key Ethereum, you can use your existing, once they finish this functionality, you'll be able to use your existing chain key Ethereum token. In the last month, because internet computer is a Bitcoin and an Ethereum layer two, it is the only thing in the world that has Bitcoin and Ethereum layer two technology. In the last month, chain key bitcoin transactions have exploded you'll see there are 700,000 the whole year in the last month there's 600,000 in the last month chain key bitcoin has just went off on internet computer and keep in mind chain key ethereum just got launched chain key ethereum is a complete baby at this point almost nothing has happened with it relative to what's going to happen although you've got thousands of vol ethereum volume already People, once you discover the technology behind internet computer, once you see every narrative, best privacy chain, best enterprise chain, first Ethereum and Bitcoin layer two, best Bitcoin layer two, best Ethereum layer two, only place you can build a crypto game like Dragons, not just the game on chain, but the website on chain, the community with open chat on chain, swaps on chain, be able to swap chain key Bitcoin, chain key Ethereum. You could give out chain key Bitcoin or chain key Ethereum or ICP in your game. You can put a, a game arcade into your existing social media app. This is nuts how good this is. Carla said, some of your chats go over an hour. Sit down with the knowledgeable person. Oh, since some of your chats go over an hour, sit down with the knowledgeable person to load a basic website in Rust. Playground and launch a website. ICP would be epic. Yes, I would love to show how to do that. There is a guide. There is a guide that is out there, and uh, that's in. I'll post that in the open chat community right now. There is a guide that shows you exactly how to make your own website on ICP. And there's a video on a video to continue doing your own research that really explains why ICP is such a big deal. There's a video, Blockchain Pill. I'm going to shout, remind me every stream, every stream to shout out two of my favorite content creators for ICP. I watch all of both of their videos. So look at Blockchain Pill. Blockchain Pill just did a video yesterday, Why Internet Computer Will Change the World. He did an interview with a developer and he asked the developer, he said, why are people going to build on ICP and the developer said because it's easier it's easier to build on ICP all you need to do is learn the Matoko coding language which is not that difficult it's easier to build on ICP if you'd like to thank you for the super chats going nuts today Nuri thank you for the five another five there's I there is so ICP think about this way i locked my icp up for eight years and with all that i know about crypto i took all my crypto and put it into icp and locked it for eight years obviously i believe the sky's the limit obviously i believe that internet computer is a blockchain singularity that can literally consume almost the entire crypto space so apps since this is a grant video i'm not talking about price specifically think about that i mean don't even focus on the price because what i've noticed in the past when you focus on the price you don't focus on the technology and if you look at the technology the price will take care of itself Ju julian thank you for your first super chat how do i say that julian may thank you for the first five euro super chat i'm very happy to see that Yes, if you'd like to contact me privately, 
my website is hosted on jerrybanfield.com. You can go to jerrybanfield.com and schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Spaces are limited, especially as I'm right now, as it's like the holiday season, lots of stuff going on, but you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one video call with me on my website. You can chat in my open chat and Discord communities. And my open chat community has... Hey, it's 666 exactly. Nice. My open chat community is the fastest growing community I've ever had. I mean, people, hundreds of people have poured into this in a my first month that I've launched it. It has almost double the amount of people in my Discord. And this is why once crypto games figure this out, once crypto games realize, I mean, crypto games need internet computer protocol arguably more than most others because crypto games crypto games need community desperately and open chat the the rate communities are growing and being able to have the chat on chain and use your same account and drop your coin one way people are promoting coins on open chat is people are giving away all these different coins you can make a game token and then do giveaways on all kinds of open chat communities. And then people get some of the coin, they become aware of the coin, it's the best place to do airdrops. If I, uh, I, when I was first in Bitcoin and Ethereum, I was way too quick to take profits. And so many of you have messaged me today, should I take profits? Is now the time to sell? You're not understanding what I'm saying if you're asking that question. Think about when I bought Bitcoin back when it was in the hundreds. Was it time to sell when it went up slightly? No, it wasn't. Because a few years later, Bitcoin would go to 60,000. So think about that. I, the Internet Computer Protocol, look at the data. Just chain key Bitcoin alone has exploded in the last month. And this is because if you there's this is from what I can see a big part. What what I can see a big part of what has contributed to this chain key Bitcoin explosion is this ordinals marketplace called Bionic. Now, from the time chain key Bitcoin was launched, this marketplace it took them six to nine months from when Chainkey Bitcoin was available to when they could actually build this and get it launched. And uh, one of the things I've seen that has shot the Chainkey Bitcoin transactions up has been that marketplace. But there's also other applications using Chainkey Bitcoin. Now picture a crypto game where you could get people into your open chat community, get them playing the game, and then you could do Bitcoin giveaways. In your chat, there's no better place to build a gaming community right now than open chat. And I know because I have I was a professional gamer. I made over $100,000 in 2021 playing video games, especially Call of Duty Warzone. I was one of the best Warzone solo players in the world. I got paid to play with some of the best Warzone solo players in the world. And at that time... I remember a guy on Facebook named Nitro Luke who was very in on the gaming community. He was saying then that the future of gaming is going towards NFTs. But NFTs, the way they're hosted outside an internet computer, he was telling me you need to get into blockchain gaming and NFTs for gaming. And what I found, I got into it and the stuff's not hosted on chain. So it's more expensive and more complicated. But internet computer... It's all hosted on chain. Now, games can build stuff off chain. Nice. We've almost hit 500 live. If you want to think about it, I've been aware of the technology on internet computer all for months. I've done my research. It's a big commitment for me. It's a big commitment for me. Thank you. I need to research that. 249 knock. I need to see what that is. That is Norwegian Krone. Nice. Thank you for the 250 Norwegian Krone. Really appreciate first ever chat. 
All right, so let me let me explain it to you this way. I've researched internet computers so much. I, in the short term, took a big loss on my channel going all in on internet computer. But what I could see is what's most important to see is where things are going. Because three months ago, when I really understood internet computer, and I saw that this is the best technology in crypto, I realized if I go all in on it as a crypto investor, that's going to work out best for me. And because I've learned from the past where I was too quick to take profits, I locked all my internet computer because I don't want to prematurely take profits. Prematurely taking profits is the, the second worst thing I've ever done in crypto. And the biggest regrets I have in crypto are prematurely taking profits. And in some cases, it was prematurely taking like, you know, close to 100,000 in profits. The thing I most regret in crypto is not, not thoroughly researching the technology. Because crypto is very confusing until you research the technology and the teams and the capabilities. And once you research that, then it starts to make more sense. I really, so three months ago, I saw the internet computer protocol is the absolute best investment I can make for myself. But then I also thought of this as a creator. I thought of this as a creator that if I figure out out of this confusing market of millions of cryptos and coins, if I lock down and correctly identify the best technology and the biggest opportunity in crypto, if I correctly identify this before almost anybody else does and I totally position myself behind it, there's going to be people coming through like Steiner that, you know, some of you have done very well and this is just the tiniest, tiniest beginning. But some of you have already done very well off of my videos. And I hope you did your own research to decide that. I could see as a creator that when you give people really, really good information, I mean, you all will take care of me. And I locked Internet Computer up for eight years. Obviously, I believe that everything we've seen so far is the smallest, smallest, smallest beginning. If you want to make an analogy towards golf, who golfs here anyway? <laughs> but I don't golf, but I took some golf lessons. I, I did golf for a while. If you want to compare internet computer to golf, we're on the third hole right now. We're on the third hole right now. There's a lot more to go. And internet computer is way... It, based on what we've seen so far, it looks like internet computer is going to be winning the majors. But it's going to really take some serious time. <laughs> See, I, I've very, what I've done in the past is I've very correctly identified things in technology and crypto that were coming ahead of time. But I was too impatient to really wait and realize the full rewards of seeing it coming. I saw internet, I saw Ethereum. And my biggest regret in crypto is taking so little time to look at the actual technology. Because if I would have done more technology research and less hype and speculation research, I would have found Definity in Internet Computer in 2017. So what questions do you have about crypto gaming or ICP besides price? Like to me, the don't forget, forget the price. Stop thinking about the price like is there anything better than internet computer out there not that i see no i am thinking about getting an infinity tattoo on this arm so on this arm we've got this i got this in 2010 at the at the starlight tattoos in mandalay bay in vegas i've been waiting a long time on what to put on this arm i think we're going for an infinity symbol on that arm so what's really exciting to me are the internet computer ecosystem tokens, which is why I invested in BoomDAO, because a lot of these are small. A lot of these are small tokens. Let me show you some of the other games on internet computer. Here's, here's a little game on internet computer called Football God. I have never used this so far, but this is a little game on internet computer called Football God. 
Here's another game called Auto Royale. I was thinking to see if we could get this to work. I'll see if we can get this to work right now. But this is a game where you can just hop in on chain and it's a 2D like battle royale game. So cool. Like the technology for this is nuts. So let's see if because these games are on chain, one of the first things I found in my research on internet computer and one of the reasons I used to be playing I used to play some other crypto games and what I realized is that these were not going to be sustainable for the long term. So here's a game. This thing is on chain. And what's really exciting with ICP is, uh, yes, some of you have said, well, you can't really build a first person shooter on ICP. That's accurate. But that technology may be there in the future. But what you want to focus on is what can you build on ICP that you can't build anywhere else? So this is a game you could join in and play this game with me right now. And this is cool because since these games are on chain, they don't take hardly any resources. Ooh! <laughs> I think I'm gonna... I'm ducking. <laughs> like, this is an on-chain game on ICP. Like, how crazy is this? Thank you, Passion Planet, for the $10 super chat. The, the dev, is the dev actually playing? Right now, is the dev for this game on here? Like, this is an on-chain game, and this game... Oh, oh! I'm dead. <laughs> like, how cool is that? This is a game that, since it's hosted on Internet Computer, if you've heard anything about cloud gaming, this game, you can play it on the cloud, so you don't need, like, a good graphics card. Uh, you know, you probably wouldn't need one if it didn't, but... Like, this is a simple game you can just hop in and play, and I just I just got wrecked. Yes, institutional. I think I just saw him over here. Because you have vet keys on this, ooh, institutional investors. This What's exciting with internet computers, you can build things completely on chain, but institutions are likely to want to use ICP because now with vet keys, you'll be able to have your some of your data kept private. All right, let's see if I can get in some action here. Well, I don't have a weapon yet. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, he's stabbing me. <laughs> My head's in the way. He's stabbing me. <laughs> My little guy just looks clueless. <laughs> I just died again. So the question obviously to ask too is like, okay, Minecraft's already popular. Like, why would you, why would something like that pop off? It would pop off because there's stuff. Right now, if you want to build worlds on Minecraft, you have to go through the centralized Minecraft store to build worlds on there. And you can't very easily just copy all that stuff either. Because it's on ICP, you can build something like Minecraft as a foundation. Then you could sell you could sell that foundation as much as you wanted to in all kinds of tokens. Chainkey, Bitcoin, Chainkey, Ethereum, ICP, BoomDAO. You could sell the whole foundation as NFTs. And then people could buy the foundation, then build game worlds on top of it and sell all those game worlds. Can... Can you see what's possible on the internet computer that's not possible anywhere else? This is why people are excited about it. Now, at this point, yes, the games on ICP are pretty basic. But you have games like Dragons that are building 100% on-chain 3D MMO. And uh, what's, what's really exciting about ICP is building stuff collaboratively. On PlayStation or Xbox or PC, you are stuck playing a game that often has relatively limited ability for you to customize it. And I know I've played a lot of, a lot of, a lot, a lot of games. What you can't do is really make much of your own contribution. What's exciting is that on ICP, you can build games a lot more collaboratively. For example, 
And certain games like first person shooters at this point are not going to be that practical on ICP. But there's games like customizable card games. Have you seen? I've seen some of these crypto customizable card games launch and then instantly die because they're too expensive to maintain. The community for the that they launched on was too small. If you launched that same customizable card game on internet computer, it'd be very cheap to maintain because hosting it all on ICP is cheap. And there's tons of opportunities to monetize it. You could sell the whole card game itself, as well as selling NFTs for individual card games. And here's what's so cool. Nice, somebody just signed up for a one-on-one -on -one call on jerrybanfield.com. That's why my phone's going off, nice. So what you can do, when is the call? December 23rd at 3 p.m. on Saturday. All right, nice. So see, I'll schedule them way in advance. So this is what, where the, the pinnacle of gaming is on ICP. You could take a customizable card game. Anyone could make a relatively simple customizable card game that's fun. You could sell the entire card game as to as anybody else could just... Like, I'm not going to be able to build a, my own customizable card game. But if I could buy somebody else's customizable card game, I could stick pictures of my face on my version of the cards. And then everybody who bought NFTs in the original card game could then use those NFTs and cards in my version of the game. And in my version of the game, I could change the pictures and names of the cards. So for example, somebody can make a a card game like, you know, sci-fi theme with kind of Star Wars, Star Trek style characters. And then somebody else could buy the entire original card game and they could change up the cards and all the NFTs from the first game will work in a second game. But in the second game, you would have cards there. In that second game, you could change all the names of the characters and the cards and all the... You'd have the cards if you bought an NFT in one game. Uh, depending on how they integrated it, you'd be able to use it in both games. But that would allow someone like me to just buy... That would allow a game developer so much more monetization potential for their original game. Because you could sell something like the entire game for so much more than an individual NFT. Like somebody like me, I might pay $5,000 or a thousand ICP or whatever. I might, dang, that is, a, that is the fattest super chat. Holy cow, Steiner Falkberg. Did I say that Steiner Fal Falk or Falschberg? 1,290. I had to look that up before. Norwegian Crone. That is a lot. The super chat amount just went up over $100. A red super chat means a gigantic one. Steiner has a gigantic one. Thank you, Steiner, for the massive super chat. Can we get a hashtag... Can I do hashtags off this second account? Let's just, let's, I'll just type Steiner. Can we get a Steiner in the chat? That is a huge super chat. Thank you very much, Steiner, for the big super chat. It's like, what is it? Like, what? It's like 10 cents for, per Norwegian crone to a dollar. So that's hundreds of dollars in one super chat. Thank you very much for the big super chat. And Godmaster Ryan, thank you for the $20 as well. So that's, thank you. That is a great question. So I'll leave Steiner's up here for a minute and explain. Right now, if you want to build on internet computer protocol, a first person shooter is not that practical because the internet computer latency time is around two seconds because you have smart contract canisters that are built on chain that are calling different contracts from different canisters. So obviously a two second latency would not work very well in a first person shooter. However, if people want to build first person shooters on ICP, they are already thinking about how you could do things in certain use cases like first person shooters to cut down latency time so that it would be theoretically possible to build a first person shooter 
on internet computer protocol depending on how they upgrade the infrastructure thank you scott that's 123 dollars. thank you for doing the math scott i really appreciate it thank you again to steiner appreciate everybody who who dropped some steiners or thank yous to steiners in the super chats what's really important to consider about icp though is you see how much other people are hyping up crypto gaming but almost all of the other hype for crypto gaming unless they actually build on icp and they make some real utility for the token there's almost everybody that's investing in crypto gaming outside of icp is get has gotten destroyed in the past and is going to continue getting destroyed I think that crypto gaming outside of ICP is one of the worst possible places for investment. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind with gaming is gaming ultimately is kind of a waste of time. <laughs> like if I look back at my life, I've spent tens of thousands of hours playing video games and uh, playing video games is kind of a dead end especially you're playing like PlayStation, Xbox, computer games, you're often people are just mindlessly grinding for worthless rewards. I spent thousands of hours playing Call of Duty Warzone in the last few years. And while I got really good at the game and while I personally did make lots of money off it, my situation was very unusual being one of the top live streamers on Facebook. Most people who spent all that time playing Warzone essentially traded their time for meaningless victories, countless of hours of feeling stress and the addictive quality of survival adrenaline. And uh, you can see that gaming is kind of a ripoff of your time and your energy for the most part. There's been a lot of hype with crypto and Web3 games about play to earn, where you can make money playing video games. If you look at charts for these other crypto games, you can see that that has almost completely been a lie. That most people who've done play to earn have merely wasted their time and played crappy games. Thank you, Peter Mack, for the $5 super chat, your fifth one. The real vision with Internet Computer is that you can build true Web3 games and you can build games most importantly that you cannot build any other way. The way you can do that, go. let's finish my customizable card game example because once you understand that you can do this on ICP, it is massively exciting. I mean, I want somebody to make a great customizable card game foundation and then I might buy the game and make it you know, be called some Jerry Banfield game. And every card would be a picture of my face or something troll like that. But what you can do on ICE, a developer making a game on ICP has more opportunities to monetize and be successful than anywhere else. And that, that is a massive opportunity for everybody. Because you can make a game. Thank you very much, GG, for becoming a member today. You'll have that blue badge next to your name and I'll investigate the, the, uh, what else you can get out of that? So uh, on internet computer, one developer making one single game could sell that game and potentially sell it for thousands of dollars per sale of the game. And then there could end up being hundreds, maybe even thousands of versions of the original game. Are you seeing like how big this is? You could, one developer could make one really well done basic customizable card game and then list the and sell their own NFTs, have their own players and their own open chat community with all the usual ways to monetize. You've got a token, a game token you could use to monetize. You would have a open chat community. You could get tips, you could sell NFTs. So all the standard ways to monetize. Then the developer could sell the game itself for potentially thousands of dollars per sale sell potentially thousands of copies of the game and then everybody buying nfts from the original developer could use those nfts in all the other games and they could be the same nfts so that when somebody bought the game 
and they all use the same NFTs, that whoever bought the game would get a commission of the NFT sale in their version of the game. This is what's really, really exciting in gaming on ICP is that things that are possible, there's things that are possible that are not possible anywhere else. There's more ways for developers of games to make money than anywhere else. And for us as the community, there's more opportunities for us as the community to participate that I could drop you know, a few thousand for a customizable card game and all the NFTs you'd bought for that game would work in my game and I could change the pictures, I could change the attack amounts and the defense amounts, I could change little things about the game and that we could have so much of a richer gaming experience. Right now, the gaming experience feels very boring. It's like the same crap all over the place because there's... You have a relatively small amount of people who develop games that mostly are just making games based on what other games are made and the community can't really participate. Internet computer is making things possible with gaming that are absolutely not possible with any other infrastructure or any other way to build it. And that, that excitement is going to be key for mass adoption. And you have something like Dragons, a game like this, theoretically... They're putting a ton of time and energy into building this game, 100% on-chain 3D MMO. They could do something like sell their entire game. So I'm not talking about sell the game to one other person. I'm talking sell a copy of the game so that then you could go in and customize. You could have your own... 100% on-chain 3D MMO. For example, if you played all the way through Dragons and you didn't like it that much, or like you liked the basic idea, but you thought the characters should say funnier things. In theory, they could sell the whole game for a potentially a nice price, and then you could make the characters say whatever you wanted them to say. You could change the colors of the characters, their hairstyles. You could change the game worlds. You could change the whole story. It would allow technology. It would allow gamers to uh, have so much more ability to be involved in the game creation process. And then imagine, imagine 10 or 20, 30 other people buy the whole game and customize it. What a rich experience that is for everybody. Now... You could play the original version, and then you'd have 30 other versions all based on the same game. Like, that to me is where this is just amazing. And it's going to take some time, though. It's going to take some time for the original games to get built on chain and to get some players. But because you can do all this stuff on ICP that can't be done other places because the technology has been so advanced, because you have the biggest research and development team in crypto making a real world computer because of all that there are going to be things happening on icp that don't happen anywhere else and there's going to be a bunch of people trying to get in on the action yuxel met thank you for the 20 australian dollars your first super chat on stream and this is why it's such a big deal this is why the only thing you need to figure out in research in crypto is what kind of technology are you investing in? For the people who say it's not about the technology, in the short term, sometimes it's not, but in the long term, it always is. Because when you can build this kind of stuff on internet computer, there's a reason to use internet computer that's very compelling. If you got a thousand ICP, that's great. I mean, I'm very happy. Where's my stack? I gotta sign in again. I'm very happy to have 2,900 ICP. I mean, at this point, I really don't ever need to do anything again. I just hold my ICP forever. I got, yeah, I'm interested to know how much ICP you've got. I have 2,900 plus. I have essentially 71 more staked. So I have 6,000 voting power. Voting power is what the basis of your rewards is. And right now I get 1.3, the equivalent of 1.3 ICP a day indefinitely off of this. That's the absolute dream, baby. Oh, look, you can leave these up there and highlight it. That's pretty cool. 
But the key thing is the long game. What I have as a vision for ICP is something that can give me total financial freedom. Like, that's the vision. To never touch the principal and just have total financial freedom. And what do I want to do with that financial freedom? I want to help others. I want to help others. I want to have time to make the videos like I do on my original channel. So if you look at my original channel, I want to be able to focus on videos where it's not about the money I'm getting. Like the crypto videos are very much kind of like work, like a job. Nice. Who's excited? There's exactly 420 viewers. Let's go. Almost 300 likes. Uh, the, the highest I've ever had on my live stream. We almost hit 500. By comparison, if you go over to my original channel, my original Jerry Banfield channel, which I'll comment with this this channel. This channel, nice, Parify dropped $10 on Streamlabs through jerrybanfield.com. Jerry, I'm up $50,000 and I've staked for eight years. Thank you so much. You will forever be a legend for what you did for the ICP community. Terrified, thank you very much for the $10 super, the $10 tip that goes straight into my PayPal on jerrybanfield.com. What I am so excited about ICP is the income that you can get from it. That frees me up to do videos on my main channel that are not, like these are passion videos. These are things that can really help, but these are things that you know I'm I'm not getting all kinds of like money and tips on, but these are things that can really change your life. Like my Alcoholics Anonymous speaker meeting, I talked for two and a half hours about my history of addiction and alcoholism and how I've got almost ten years sober now. <laughs> it's hard to do successful crypto investing when uh, you're in the middle of addiction, and if you've had addictions in the past, like me with alcoholism. My uh, my addictive personality when I was first in crypto led me into a gambling mindset. So what I'm doing is you don't want to gamble at all in your crypto investing. Certainly there's some risk involved, but you want to minimize the risk while maximizing the potential upside. Nice, it did tap 500 for a second. That's awesome. So I I sold all my Solana three months ago for ICP when I compared the, the technology on both of them. Now, that's that's my research. I did a lot of research to come to that conclusion. I'm a, This is just what I'm doing for myself. It's important to uh, do your own research, come up with your own opinions. I hope that my research is a point to help you do yours because... The way I did my own research is I went and used applications on ICP. I bought a tiny amount of ICP, like 50, 100 bucks worth, and then I started using it. I played around with, like, one of the first things that really impressed me on ICP was the arcade on Discover. Or it might have been a different crypto game arcade, but somewhere where it told me that I was playing an on-chain game. And I'm like, really? I'm playing an on-chain game? Really? Like, that caught my attention because I knew from my experience in crypto gaming that these other games I was playing were not on-chain. Now, many people might not have... There's so many of you, so many people in crypto have bought these game tokens, you've never even played the game. Which of you have done that before? I did that. I did that with Axie Infinity. I had never played the game and I bought the token. I did that with Sandbox. I had never played the game and I bought the token. At which point I realized after I lost money in both of those, you ought to play the game before you buy the token. And I realized in actually playing the game, this stuff isn't on chain. It's all off chain except for the token. ICP to me is the most underrated thing on the market. If you want my price prediction videos, I've got all that on. Uh, I've got I've done those previously, and just talked about the price quite a bit, in in several videos. So there's, yeah, I, I did several videos. To, I I did one. I did one a month ago, saying a huge ICP price pump is coming. I hope you're ready. So 
I wanted to title every video I was right, but you know, you're not really right. Anything can happen in the short term. You know, I don't look at it. I'm not really right until we check back in 2030, 2035. Like then we'll see, you know? Congratulations, who said 39 years clean? That's amazing. So I go live every other day on my main channel, and many of you talk about, you know, you, you're investing in crypto because you want financial freedom. Like the way you get financial freedom is to not touch your principal and then get rewards in something that appreciates. And the only way something's going to appreciate is if it is decided by many, many people that it is valuable and there's a good reason to use it. That's how things appreciate. I, 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 some of you have also been impressed with how I handle the, the critics and the haters. I was a professional gamer. I got an absolutely unimagin unimaginable amount of haters saying every nasty thing you can imagine. The comments on these crypto streams don't bother me. They're nothing compared to what's been said before. I mean, this, the stuff on the, the crypto streams where people are critical and saying I'm wrong, it's, it's a test. Yeah, I mean, if my position was that easily able to be challenged, like, it's... I'm excited to see. Let's see. Let's see in a year, two years, five years, ten years. We'll see. I'm excited to see, and if I'm wrong, it'll actually be more interesting. I did call this, but this is just the beginning of what I've called. It's the smallest beginning. Because when I went through this presentation talking about what has been built, Boom Dow in terms of gaming on ICP is the most impressive thing that's been built, and Dragons is the most impressive thing that's been building. The Discover Arcade, I played a game on, I played multiple games on stream that are on chain. This is the smallest beginning because look at all the stuff that has not been built yet that can be built. Developers are starting to find the internet computer protocol is the best place to build. And with vet keys, it allows for building and keeping part of your data private and keeping the data on chain, which is essential for enterprises. Meme coins, we've already seen some meme coins like Sneed do really well on ICP. The people who want to launch meme coins are, are going to start launching a lot more of them on internet computer protocol. Because on Internet Computer Protocol, you can get your meme coin integrated into... Imagine if you could put your meme coin into Discord or Telegram and let people do airdrops. If you are in my free channel on my university, you'll see Yellow Chicken and uh, some other people. They're always dropping giveaways. You can drop, do a giveaway anytime. Look, I'll, I'll do one right now. I'll do a giveaway right now, live. So I'll show you exactly how this works. So check this out. This is in my free channel, which is in Jerry Banfield University. I'm going to give away. I'm going to give away. Let's give away. I have seven ICP. All right, we're, we're just give away five ICP right now. As a thank you for all of you who are here. And we'll split it up. How many winners should we have? 20, 25 winners. Everyone will get 0 0.2 ICP. And we'll do equal distribution, any user, and uh, click send. Now, look at this technology, assuming it, it works, because sometimes it doesn't. 25 people right now are going to be able to claim 0.2 ICP, if I did my math right. I think that's correct math. There we go. Look, look, check this out. This is a live giveaway. Anyone for free just literally clicks a button. Literally clicks a button. And is going to win off of this. Like nobody's got it yet, but just give it a second. You'll get 0.2 ICP that will pop up directly in your wallet. It just took 5 ICP out of my wallet. And look, look at this. People right now, right, it's ripping. I did put random crap. I meant to put I meant to put equal distribution. So some so cool nice got 0.35 ICP. Amador got 0.06 ICP. 
who who got the highest yeah, santi got 0. 0.41 icp i think that's one of the highest like literally clicked a button now imagine this functionality for meme coins daniel connor thank you very much for the five dollars my pleasure on the icp call nobody benefits more from doing my research successfully and presenting it than i do i mean some of y'all have you know invested more but i stand to gain a lot as a content creator look at this functionality now picture if you have a game token and you've built a game you have a community where you can airdrop or do a giveaway to people who are active in your community anytime the technology is already built for you you can do bitcoin giveaways you can do ethereum giveaways i think who won the highest nice i recognize a lot of your names i think tm42069 won 0.41 icp just by clicking a button santi won the highest 0.419 just for clicking a button like that's how good this technology is that's how good this technology is that you can do a giveaway i just gave away five icp that easily in my open chat if you're not in my open chat go to jerrybanfield.com the link is there i've i've given away 10 20 at least icp in my chat just like that I'll probably keep doing one of those every live stream because you all give a lot to me. I want to give back. If you got in at the same point I did, I'm excited for you and we're off to a good start. It's not worth even thinking about the price though. It's worth focusing on the technology and what you can do with it. Like what I just showed you, this functionality, this functionality is huge. If you want to build a game and build a token, this functionality is massive. This is the technology that can help you build a thriving active community on games. What I've noticed, there are games with huge, like 50, $100 million communities. And what is it? You got people on a Discord server that you can't even send crypto. The more people find out about what you can do on ICP, especially gaming, you're going to have huge games that build on ICP. There may already... you've Dragons is a big deal. Dragons building on ICP. The founders sold a $160 million game 20 years ago. They built another profitable and successful game that got shut down because of the investors and the hosting provider. This is their third game. They have a track record of doing very well. This is a big deal. And there's going to be a bunch more games... There's going to be a bunch more games building on ICP. Especially because you build your game on ICP, you get your token on open chat. I mean, there's just so much you can do. It's yeah, I I did drop a 6 ICP membership for a lifetime open chat. And I I'm imagining my kids in like 10 years, you know, you do the math or whatever ICP will be in 10 years like Wow, Dad, you paid thousands and thousands of dollars for a lifetime open chat membership. Like, yeah, I did that. That's right. We were balling back in the day, just throwing it around. Well, here's the thing. Yes, William, you are correct. People a lot are in crypto for the money. However, we're, we make a better world by thinking about, you know, how we can come together as communities and help each other. The technology on ICP gives us the ability to come together as communities more effectively than any other technology on earth does. And that's why it's really valuable. That's why this is worthwhile. Ultimately, while yes, there's lots of manipulation in crypto, the long-term value of anything is all about how much value it gives to people. Yes, ICP ICP is busting out of the crypto G degen culture. And uh, to me, ICP is the main... I, I mean, to me, ICP is the first mass adoption platform we've had ever for crypto. It's the first technology. And one reason you haven't... You might not have heard about ICP is because of, like, you know, what was just said and what I did... You know, the entire rest of the crypto ecosystem does not want you to leave everything else behind for ICP. That said, I was watching Bobby O's video yesterday, and the, the top two content creators I watch for Internet Computer 
and the, the generally in crypto our blockchain pill he does great interviews with people on the internet computer ecosystem so much to the point when somebody asks me if they want to do an interview with me i'm like no just do i want to do my live stream and talk to my chat go do an interview with blockchain pill he does great edited thoughtful interviews with people in the icp space you can see i put hours into watching the videos on his channel so in addition to blockchain pill and i want to recommend both of them i want to recommend both of these creators on every one of my live streams because they both helped me understand internet computer a lot so there's bobby's recent video on his main channel apparently the tech matters to institutions a lot of crypto a lot of crypto is people saying the tech doesn't matter in price and speculation but to institutions to institutions apparently the technology does matter to people with large amounts of money apparently the technology does matter but really to you and me the technology needs to matter also and the technology on internet computer is so good it's possible according to the videos bobby was sharing yesterday on his main channel that you could theoretically put coins from other networks natively integrated like there's chinky bitcoin and chinky ethereum on the internet computer because chinky because bitcoin and ethereum have such high gas fees and such slow transactions compared to internet computer that you need a chain key twin on internet computer but things like solana in theory you could just use solana natively on internet computer you wouldn't even need to have a chain key solana in theory you could just directly build a solana integration into internet computer you could just use the in theory you could run the solana token just natively on internet computer and have the entire solana token throughout the whole icp ecosystem and because the transactions are so cheap on solana the solana token could be brought into theoretically just bring the whole token into internet computer that's what bobby was talking about you know asking like can you do it that way can you bring some of these other tokens like solana or avalanche like could you just pull them into the existing icp ecosystem which would make sense because then if you were building on those tokens you could build on the internet computer technology and you could use continue using the token so i i would like to interview dominic williams however think about how much i talk and how much i'd want to hear dominic talk i mean you really should just get a video of dominic taking questions from the community and answering them you don't even really need me to stand here and be quiet while dominic talks like <laughs> You know, just keeping it real, I want to listen to Dominic talk. I'd like to ask him a few questions, but he could just film a video in Definity headquarters answering questions and put it out on the Definity channel, and that'd be much more effective than having him show up on my channel. So I watch the videos on the Definity channel. If you want to do your research, watch the, the videos. Now, I don't watch every video on the Definity channel, but I watch the ICP talks they put out. I watched this whole video multiple times. I watched all of the entire R&Ds. Indonesia on chain is a very good marketing and adoption initiative that they've been doing. I understood the value of vet keys from watching this demo that they put out. So I would like to see some more videos of Dominic like answering questions on Definity. I would I would really like to see that. I I don't really need to do those videos. I'm better off just being here live streaming with you guys. So I got about 10 more minutes before I go to yoga. Are there any other questions? Thank you to Fluent for becoming a member and for your third super chat. All of everything is linked directly on jerrybanfield.com. My Discord channel is paid only. You can join it for free and get notifications. But my Discord used to get overrun with spam and scams. So now I basically have all the servers private except for a notifications channel. So the best experience is to pop into my open chat, which is hosted on ICP. Because on ICP, you can join in on my open chat. There's giveaways and... Uh, you can. There's a free channel on open chat. I often miss some of the messages in there. 
But then there's a Diamond member channel and a VIP1 ICP channel, which I've essentially just given all the ICP I've got from that channel away. So this channel is the first channel I read, and then I usually read the Diamonds, and then I go through the free-for-all channel as much as I can. The open chat's better, but how I do get Discord on my phone. Thank you, Dixon, for your fifth super chat. And one, Titans, thank you both for the $5. I've got price prediction videos already listed and uh, I'm not even concerned with where ICP goes on this bull run because I'm locked up for eight years. Obviously, I Amazon Web Services, to put this in perspective, there's like 50 million websites Am on Amazon Web Services. It's the top infrastructure the internet is hosted on right now. It's valued at over a trillion dollars. Internet computer is the first world computer that you can build anything on. It's the first world computer you can build anything on. It's the first Bitcoin and Ethereum layer 2. It's the first public infrastructure you could run AI on, directly on chain transparently. It's about to have vet keys where you can do on-chain encryption and privacy. You have to burn ICP to pay to use the network. It has up to 16% voting rewards that you can lock your principal and just live off the rewards. I'm going to talk some more with Joe Paris and explain how Joe Paris really helped me understand why ICP was so good. Because I see what ICP has done is put some of the smartest things that other cryptos, some of them have single-handedly pumped massively on things like locking up and getting rewards or on having things like liquidity tied up and, uh, you know, internet computers, like, taken these things that have worked well other places and basically put all of it into one protocol. Like, the design, the design of internet computer is so thoughtful, it just blows me away. So, what I'm looking at is I have my bag of ICP right now. All I do is live off the rewards. I mean, I've, I've this locked up for eight years. It doesn't matter where it goes in the short term at all. When, uh, when I want to cash out some rewards, all I do is click the spawn neuron button. And I, it, look, I can click, watch. I'm gonna click a button and just get money out of this without touching the principal. I'm gonna click spawn neuron. I'm gonna click spawn a neuron. It's just, it cranks money out almost every day. I don't have to do anything except, look, I have, in two days, I'm gonna get five ICP. I'm going to get five more ICP in five days. And then in seven days, I'm going to get two more ICP. So this is, this to me, there's nothing better than this. Lock it up for eight years. You lock it up. What movie is that from? You lock it up. <laughs> you lock your ICP up for eight. This is what I'm doing. After all my research, I see nothing, nothing that is superior to this. Lock it up. You lock it up. Look at this. I lock my 2900 ICP up. And uh, every day, 1.33 ICP on average. I follow Definity. I literally don't have to do anything. Definity votes on almost all the proposals. At this point, if you don't trust Definity, why would you even get in the internet computer? I follow Definity on the votes. I get 16.4% in annualized rewards. Literally doing nothing. And any day I feel like having some money, I go into the network nervous system, I click spawn neuron, as long as you've got at least one available you can spawn, I just let it sit there and uh, print money constantly. And by doing this, I'm supporting a world computer, the best technology in crypto on the planet. And uh, I, uh, yeah, sure. If at certain At certain times, I look at it like, ah, I don't really need to spawn a neuron today. What I want to have now, I want to grab that ICP from my rewards and then stick that into some ICP projects. And then, you know, then when ICP really starts to go nuts, then I can take some nice paychecks out of it that will be more than I initially put in, in US dollars. So the most important thing I've seen is to not mess with your principal. If you really do your research, and I present a bunch of research every day. I've presented a bunch of research on gaming. I've played games on here. There's many more games developing 
many more games coming. If you can identify vastly superior technology with huge potential way ahead of time and then just lock in for the long term, there's no better strategy. Trying to trade and time the market is a strategy that's been sold to you in order to intentionally, intentionally rip you off. Again, big thank you to Steiner for this big 1,290 Norwegian crone on the super chat. <laughs> there is no way you can unlock your ICP. Once you lock it, you cannot unlock it. You can sell your network, your identity. I wouldn't do that, though. That is a risky. That is a little risky, but there are marketplaces for that. So you can sell your whole internet identity. So if you wanted to pick up some low, you know, much lower cost staked ICP, you theoretically could buy someone's internet identity, but I wouldn't engage in that myself. So what I've learned, if I could quantify, if I could simplify my learning from nine years in crypto into a paragraph, it's that first and foremost, you need to research and look for the absolute best technology with true mass adoption potential. If you can't find that, it's not worth your time. And once you find that, stick around for the long, long, long term. Because if one of the things I've woken a few people up that have scheduled one-on-one -on -one calls with me, there's several people have scheduled calls with me that thought I was going to teach them to be a better trader. And what I've told them is, all these people who are trying to get you to trade in crypto are ripping you off. And you might wonder, well, why are so many people trying to rip me off? You're just a dollar sign. Thank you, Too Fluent, for another $5 super chat. When you spawn a neuron, no, when you spawn a neuron, it just pops into, it just pops into a, another neuron. And then you can dissolve the neuron to take the ICP out. So I'll, I'll show you this in a couple of days. My next crypto stream with Joe Paris, maybe I can show you that. But so I've spawned a couple of neurons to test this in the past because before I before I went all in on this, I tested like, let me spawn a neuron and make sure this works, that I can actually take out this, you know, the reward. So I tested this before I, you know, showed all of this. Yeah, so all you have to do is Spawn a neuron and then click dissolve and the ICP goes right into your account. Super easy. Yeah, it does not, it does, it has a seven day automatic dissolve and it does not get restaked. So I'm, I'm cashing that maturity out into ICP and then I will put that into other projects on ICP because I want to support ICP, like how I put 50 ICP into gold DAO. And to me, a lot of the excitement, two big areas of excitement I've seen in the internet computer recently are Gold Dow. 320,000 ICP has been put into Gold Dow in the last five, four or five days. And another big area of excitement I've seen is Chainkey Bitcoin. So, Chainkey Bitcoin recently and Gold Dow, real world assets on chain, these are two of the biggest things people have been excited about. In the last few days oh so let me tell you about so some of you can avoid having to pay a couple hundred bucks for me to tell you this we'll wrap it up at the end and then i'll go to yoga you always 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 take your take your crypto off exchanges never 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 ever never ever hold your crypto on exchanges not only is the crypto not yours if you put it on an exchange it also allows exchanges that are dishonest to double, triple, potentially even five or 10x sell your crypto. Imagine if you put your crypto on an exchange, if you buy crypto on an exchange, you don't even know if you actually bought crypto. The exchange could be putting a sell order up for crypto they don't even have and selling it to you. And as long as you don't withdraw it, they just got your money and didn't actually give you anything of value. Some of these exchanges appear to be extremely dishonest and multiple selling people's crypto. And then when too many people withdraw at once, they pause withdrawals and then they buy crypto and at some point to push the price up intentionally, perhaps. And then they make withdrawals possible. 
I I feel that Coinbase is one of the most honest exchanges out there. That said, I still am not leaving my crypto on Coinbase because why would I want to have internet computer on Coinbase when I could have it on the network nervous system? You definitely want to have your internet computer on the network nervous system, but be sure to watch my tutorials. I have, if you, you need to watch the internet uh, identity, watch my internet identity tutorial. I mean, it's 28 minutes. You really need to watch all of it. You need to understand how your internet identity works, get multiple devices authorized, and make sure you've got your recovery phrase saved. And I saw a question earlier, you do not need a ledger once you've got your internet identity wallet set up on the network nervous system, you don't need a ledger. I don't recommend any hardware wallet because it adds an additional layer of complexity, potential way to lose your wallet, and it, to get your wallet hacked. So I don't use any hardware wallets now. I had a ledger before. Back when I was holding a bunch of cryptos, I had ledger and tangium. I stopped using both of them. Mr. Me, thank you very much for the big 50 bomb. You all have went nuts with the super chats. Thank you, Mr. Me, for the 50 bomb in there with Steiner as the top two chats on the stream. And uh, I really appreciate your, your love and support with the super chats. It's way more than I need, so I just... Keep doing giveaways on my ICP. I just I just gave back some. I'll, I'll give back more. Thank you, Mr. Me, for the big super chats. I really appreciate it. I'm here to build a world full of wealthy people. Last thing I'll wrap this stream up with is many of you have been programmed and people have paid hundreds of dollars on my website on jerrybanfield.com to have a one-on-one -on -one call where they thought I was going to teach them how to trade. And I ended up telling him this, so I hope you can get this for free without having to pay for it. Most of crypto creators, journalists, most of the entire industry is either consciously or subconsciously telling you to trade crypto. They're telling you to buy low and sell high. And they're encouraging you to trade. Why? Because that's how most all of them are getting paid. And that's how you are getting ripped off. You're getting ripped off by manipulated markets and manipulated prices. Watch Dominic did a video with OKCoin OK that was very revealing about all this. I watched a whole hour-long interview with him on that. You've been conditioned that you should trade because everybody else is ripping you off. Every, other, every angle of ripping you off on crypto involves getting you to trade. People are making... An exchange just emailed me a day or two ago saying... Are you sure you don't want at least a thousand USDT a day for referring our exchange? All you have to do, Jerry, is refer to our exchange, set up a copy trading profile, and get at least 50 of your followers, which will be very easy for you to do. Get, get 50 of your followers to copy trade you. That's all you have to do, and we expect you'll easily start earning a thousand USDT a day quickly. And they sent me an example of a another crypto guy who's got a similar level community we do they said he's making 3000 usdt a day and you could easily do this too y'all are getting ripped off across the board because people are doing things like that that are ripping you off you should not be trading you should be thoroughly researching and figuring out what actually has value and then get in that for the long, long term. But everybody across the whole crypto system makes money off of you trading. They make money off of referring you to exchanges. They make money tricking you into garbage altcoins that if you took time researching instead of trading, you'd look at the technology and you'd realize almost every coin has garbage technology and no future because when you compare them, then you find internet computer, it ruins everything else. And... Many content creators profit hugely off of you trading because then you have to keep watching these content creators every day for the, the charts, to see meaningless day-to-day -day price data, to see which coins are hot each day. Almost everybody in the entire space is purely concerned with extracting value from you. Stop trading. Stop timing the market. 
Stop trying to figure out when you should buy and when you should sell and start figuring out which technology is really advanced, which technology is grossly undervalued and do so much research before buying that then when you do buy, you can stay in it for eight plus years that you don't have to decide whether to buy or sell every day. I don't care what the ICP price is on a day-to-day -day basis. It, it doesn't matter because I'm in this for the long term and where it's at today is nothing compared to where it's going to be in the future. And because I've poured my research into defining the technology, I do not have any coin outside the ICP ecosystem. I sold all of them, except I got stuck locking a couple and I'll unlock those and sell them in ICP as soon as possible. So... Don't trade. Do research. Do research. Do not trade. Unless you are an absolute professional, which 99% of you are not absolute professionals. If you've been trading your whole life and you've done stocks, you've done Forex, maybe you can trade. But everybody else should not be trading. That's my, th my opinion, which is all my opinion. Nice to see you, Corey. Somebody said hi to Bobby. Did I miss Bobby in the chat while I was listening to myself talk? I really is. All right, it's time to head to yoga, too. I'm going to be just on time. Thank you very much to all of you. I, If you want to watch more internet computer content, as I said before, my two favorites are Bobby O. Bobby O has some great videos, and I I draw inspiration right off his videos. I mean, it's, you know, it's... It's I draw inspiration off his videos, Bobby O and Blockchain Pill. Blockchain Pill has outstanding interviews with people building things. I would recommend watch watch his video that's cranking out views. Why Internet Computer Will Change the World. That's a really good video to watch. And if you want to hang out more with me, talk go on jerrybanfield.com. Link to Discord's there. Discord's the only thing I've got on my phone. I see the Discord message is the fastest, but that is paid. Thank you. You all dropped a record amount of super chats and a record amount of viewers today. Learn to research, less research, less speculation and hype, more, more, more research. Use stuff yourself. Never hold a crypto that you haven't actually used yourself. Thank you very much. I love you each. I hope this educational and entertaining material was useful for you. I'll be back two days from now. Joe Paris and I will be talking price and we'll be talking ICP. I'm going to have Joe Paris live two days from now. So I think that'll be a great stream. Looking forward to seeing each of you. Thank you again, Steiner and Mr. Me for the big super chats today. And I think it was a couple of you sent straight to PayPal. Much love. Time for yoga. Have a great day. I'll be live tomorrow. I still haven't scheduled it yet. If you want to be there for my next live stream, if you want to be there for my next live stream, Go to my original crypto channel, which is linked on my website. Go to my original my original channel. I've got some really, you know, life-changing videos on here. Check out some of these. I'll be live tomorrow on this main channel. And then I'll be live Tuesday with Joe Paris. Much love.